My lab does research with fruit flies and we hope to find a cure for mitochondrial disorders. Many and, and of the pathways and how things work in fruit flies, they're the same as how they work in our bodies, in particular for mitochondria. Mitochondrials are little parts of our cells which are in charge of a big task, which is producing 90% of the energy we need. Leaving people suffering from mitochondrial disorders with problem with muscles, problem with brain development, and uh, problem breathing. So Ted is a person who is in his 20s and he suffered from mitochondrial disorders. So he was diagnosed with mitochondrial disorders when he was in college. And uh, very soon, like in a few years, he actually was bound to a wheelchair. And I realized that we have a priceless opportunity. There's nothing like that that is going to help my students to understand the value of research. Since then, Ted is our compass. We need to be precise with our research, but we cannot forget why is this important. So we bring him many, many times in our conversations. So in 2014, the lab was awarded a grant from the National Institute of Health, or NIH, to actually study a potential treatment for mitochondrial disorders. As of right now, we are in the last year of the grant and we have accomplished much. Uh, we know that the drug that we wanted to use benefits mitochondrial disorder, in particular one of the mitochondrial disorders. And we know, do know that benefits some of the pathology, yet it's far from curing it. My summer is going to be putting that into a proposal and try to ask for a renewal of the grant. A going on to what is the mechanisms as to how this drug is helping with the goal of finding another one who will be better suited to treat mitochondrial disease. Doing research is just not only playing with pipettes, it's actually have a bigger aim. We might get to it or we might not, but the fight is worth doing.